Aquarius. Going to do a love reading for you today and see what you got going on. Okay. Uh, because this is for a general Aquarius, take it how it resonates. Okay. A lot of Aquarius out there uh, might not apply for all of you. Okay. So we're going to see what we get. This could be for past, present, future, and love. Okay. Aquarius and love. Let's see what we got. If you're all doing well, I don't remember if I said that. <laughs> In case I didn't, uh, I'll say it again. So we have nine of cups. Okay, that's good. It's emotional happiness. Seven of pentacles. Feels like somebody's wanting to work on this connection with you. This could be you. Okay, let's see what else we get. Aquarius in love. Hair font in reverse. Well, why do we want the hair font in reverse? We don't want the hair font in reverse, Aquarius. Let's see. <clears throat> So there's something about a commitment here where maybe somebody didn't want to commit before. Uh, here front in reverse, five of cups. Um, could be some regret going on surrounding a commitment. Okay, the here front for me is like committed energy. Let's see what else comes out. Aquarius and love. What do we have for Aquarius? of pentacles in reverse let me get my other deck um yeah somebody regrets that they didn't put effort into commitment or they didn't want a commitment Let's clarify this nine of cups swords in reverse some of you aren't speaking with this person. If it's somebody from the past. Yeah. And the lovers. Lovers is Gemini energy. Um, it doesn't have to be. But I feel like there's no communication here. Right now. Okay, Queen of Wands. Somebody's angry. Um, or somebody was trying to control this connection hold on let me so you may have been the one to break this connection off okay queen of wands um that's fire energy but it can have, it can be an energy of trying to control situations. It's not in the reverse, okay? Um, I said anger, but, you know, maybe a little frustration. Um, it could be just frustration with this situation overall. I feel like you stopped talking to this person at some point, all right? Why is this Seven of Pentacles here? The pinnacles to the three of pinnacles. What the hell we got going on here, Aquarius? Let's see. Need your cup. Somebody may want to offer you an apology. Something small, okay? Page. That's a little bit of energy or a little bit of emotions, okay? Somebody's putting their guard down. Now, still, this could be you, or it could be the other person. Somebody, it's like somebody wasn't putting enough effort in or they quit putting in the effort that they were putting in previously. 
So like they quit doing things or you may have gotten irritated at them for not doing things that they did previously. That makes sense. What about the Hierophant? Hierophant with the moon. Something about a commitment. Okay, let's see. Something hidden here with this moon. We got, okay, let me do that again. So too many cards coming out. Clarify the Hierophant for me, please. Swords in reverse. There's some kind of dishonesty or not telling the truth, keeping something hidden, okay? Somebody was keeping some keeping something hidden regarding, um, oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> regarding the commitment, okay, or the connection between you. Okay. Two pentacles in the reverse. There may have been some juggling going on uh, with another person, third party, somebody trying to make up their mind. So somebody could have been trying to make up their mind, like, oh, do I want to be in, you know, a committed relationship? I don't know. Um, and then telling the person like, oh yeah, I want a commitment, but not being honest about that. Wands looking for the future. Let's see. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yes. We lost something here. Okay. There's going to be communication here. Okay. Somebody, either you or them, you're going to want to talk to this other person. I feel like there could be an apology involved with this. Let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. See, somebody doesn't want to, it feels like it's better not to do anything about this. And then Ten of Pentacles, which is commitment, kind of almost feels wishy-washy. Got going on, Aquarius. And then Ten to the Eight of Pentacles, it keeps going down. Um... I, I almost feel like you're the one that's putting out this energy of um, I'm not putting any more effort into this. I've been putting in the effort. They're not putting in as much effort as they should. That's kind of what it's feeling like. But somebody does want a conversation here. Let me see. What is this person's intentions with Aquarius, please? How do they feel about Aquarius? Let's do that. How do they feel with Aquarius? Confused. Seven of Cups. High Priestess. And they don't know what they want. They don't know. They just don't know what the hell they want. <laughs> Aquarius, they don't know what the hell they want. They are confused. Okay. They're emotionally confused. Um... Seven of Cups with the High Priestess in Rebirth. They, they just don't know. Okay. What else? How else do they feel about Aquarius here? I feel like their, their confusion surrounds a commitment. Okay. Maybe you wanted to be in a better commitment. or Not better, but bigger, larger, you know, next level. Um, and then this Five of Cups again. Second time. Twice now. Okay. That's my spirit guide saying, you, they regret, okay? They are remorseful um, how it all played out. Maybe it's still playing out. I don't know. Everybody's on a different timeline, okay? Take this how it applies for you. Again, another cup card. Confusion, regret, remorse, sadness, kind of like, oh, shit. Why can't I get my shit together about this kind of thing? Okay. Um, let's see what their intentions are. 
what is this person just god okay we're gonna redo that what was that five of swords and the four swords okay i'm gonna make a mental note there's some energy out of this lord okay what are their intentions with aquarius please Ending a painful cycle. That 10 is an ending. The sea king of cups in the reverse. That's kind of emotionally unavailability. Shut off emotionally. Or that king of cups in reverse could be reflecting how they were before. They could have been emotionally unavailable to you before. Maybe that's what they have the regret about. But they're still confused as hell. Their intentions towards Aquarius, please. And Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay, Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is in the upright, you know, it's emotional fulfillment. Um, so I don't think they have any. I don't know what their intentions are right now, honestly. <laughs> this is kind of all kinds of... It's it's confusion. It's a lot of confusion, okay? Um, and my cards are freaking out. Why are my cards freaking out like this right now? They could have some anxiety, okay? I feel like I'm ramping up here with anxiety. Their intentions towards Aquarius. What else? Three cups in the reverse. That's it could be third party. See, I still think it's like they want their cake and eat it too. Honestly, Aquarius. Um, all these cups are in the reverse, with the exception of the seven here, which speaks to their hella hella confusion okay okay let's get some advice what advice do you have for aquarius look what just flipped over here fine in reverse which we have here already my double confirmation my spirit guides double confirm for me all the time it's like uh, red flag red red flag. That's that's my spirit guide's going, eh, red flag. He's even wearing red, see? Look at this. It's it's non-committal energy. This person at this time, okay, at this time, this is the current energy. They are non-committal. Because they want to date other people, or they're because they're just confused as hell. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you can you can choose to be friendly with an Ace of Pentacles. You can, if you're not speaking to them, you can offer a peace offering kind of energy. What else? What other advice do we have for Aquarius? Look, that's pain, okay? Um, I think this is actually saying now, since we have the third card <laughs> in the mix, it's kind of like if you offer them anything again, this is what you're going to get again, okay? Don't know what happened before. It just feels like they're extremely noncommittal. Because they're confused, okay? They're confused emotionally. Um, I, I get the feeling that they would rather date around, do their own thing whenever they want to kind of thing. And this is all that emotional con confusing energy, okay? They don't know what they want. High priestess in reverse, seven of cups. They, they just, they're like, oh shit, look at all these choices. I, there's too much, you know... I can just have a good time. And it's like, on one hand, that's what they want. And then they feel regret. It's kind of like they feel the regret after the fact. 
if that makes any sense, after they tell you, oh, oh yeah, I want a commitment, but they really don't. Um, or, or after they do something or something happens, okay, um, they're just really confused right now. I do feel, though, that some of you are still going to hear from this person, this Eight of Wands, okay? That's a lot of communication. It's a lot of incoming energy, okay? Some of you may already heard from this person if you haven't been in contact with them, okay? And like I said, it feels wishy-washy. One day, oh yeah, let's, let's, you know, I want to commit to this or that or whatever. I want to be exclusive, whatever that commitment is for you. And then a day or two later or a week or two or however long, then they're changing their tune and they're changing their mind. Okay. So Aquarius, oh God, I hope this was helpful. It, it, it doesn't seem so great, does it? Unfortunately, however, this is only the energies right now. Keep that in mind. Things change constantly. Energy is fluid. Please remember that. Leave me a comment down below. I like to hear from everybody watching the videos. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and the upcoming week. Take care, guys. Bye.